grade 6 learners, welcome to Blue Rizal TV. This academic year has been an extraordinary one and I'm so excited to bring you into this thrilling world of final learning. And now, welcome to my virtual classroom. I am Mom Cheryl, your teacher in math class and your guide for this adventure. Before we continue our journey today, you an idea on what we have to accomplish. That is, express one value as a fraction of another given direction and vice versa. But before we proceed, let me ask you some trigger questions. What is your idea about ratio? How it is written? How can you express one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. And for today's lesson, we will study how can you compare the given quantities. Alright class, are you ready to learn more about all this? Awesome! Now, let's begin. Ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities having the same unit. Separate entities, or they may be different parts of a group. You can write the ratio of A and B in three ways. It can be in a word form, column form, and fraction form. The order in which a ratio is expressed is very important. The order of the terms in ratios must correspond to the order of objects being compared. In a ratio, a part can be compared to its food. After going through this lesson, you are expected to express one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. When using or interpreting ratios, an important aspect is to be clear about is whether the comparison is part to part or part to food. Fractions are used most commonly to represent part whole ratios. Let's take a look at these examples. Compare the numbers of circles and triangles, and vice versa. To compare the number of circles to triangle, it should be written in column form like this. It has the column symbol. And we will need this as 12 is to 6. Another way of writing of this ratio is word form. Ratios can be interpreted as fraction form. Even if the ratio is in fraction form, you will still say 12 is to 6. Always remember that the order of the terms in a ratio must correspond to the order of objects being compared. In example 1, it is comparison of part to part. The ratio of circles to triangles is 12 is to 6. The ratio of triangles to circles is 6 is to 12. Another example, example number 2. Compare the total number of shapes to number of triangles. To compare the total number of shapes to number of triangles and vice versa. First, count the total number of shapes, then the number of triangles. So, ratio of total shapes to triangles is 18 is to 6. The ratio of triangles to total shapes is 6 is to 18. In example 2, it is the comparison of part to whole. Ratio should also be in simplest form or lowest form, like a fraction. You can express the above example. First, give the factors of 18 and 6. Then, choose the greatest common factors. If the ratio of total number of shapes of 
the triangles. Is 18 is to 6. Simply divide 18 by 6 because 6 is the greatest common factor of 18 and 6. So 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. Therefore, the simplest form of 18 is to 6 is 3 is to 1. If the ratio of triangles to total shapes is 6 is to 18, divide by 6 again. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Therefore, the simplest form of 6 is to 18 is 1 is to 3. Always express your answers in simplest form if possible. Let's have another example. Express the ratio of 3 25 centavo coins to 3 peso coins in column 4. Since the two quantities have different units, you need to make sure that they must be in the same units to express the right ratio. How many is the 25 centavo coin in 1 peso? Correct. There are 4 25 centavo coins in 1 peso. Thus, in this example, you can express ratio of the two quantities as 3 is to 12. Since there are 4 25 centavo coin in each 1 peso coin, in simplest form, the ratio of 3 25 centavo coin to 3 peso coin is 1 is to 4. Study the solution on how 3 is to 12 change to its simplest form. So first, find the factors of 3 and 12. Then, choose the greatest common factors of this number. So the greatest common factors of 3 and 12 is 3. So 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So the simplest form of 3 is to 12 is 1 is to 4. Another example, express the equivalent ratio of 2 is to 4. Again, study the solution below. In the given solution, the fraction is simply multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So, the possible equivalent ratio of 2 is to 4 are 4 is to 8, 6 is to 12, 8 is to 16, and 10 is to 20. Another example. Wrong scored 180 points in basketball games. Find the average rate per game. To find the average rate per game, simply divide 180 points by 5 basketball games. So, 180 divided by 5 equals 36 or 36 points. Therefore, the average rate per game is 36 is to 1. Learning Task 1 Write a ratio of the following in three ways. Write your answer in your notebook. Study the answer in item number 1. The order of terms must correspond to the order of objects being compared. Change your answer in simplest form if possible.
Check your answer from 2 and 3. Write at least three equivalent ratio of the given ratio. Write your answer in your notebook. Again, using these key to corrections, verify if your answers are correct. Is your answers are all correct? Alright, good job! Write the following fraction in word and colon form. Did you write the given fractions in word and colon form correctly? Congratulations! You have successfully learned your lesson for today. You're great. For our last activity, fill in the blanks with the correct words to complete the statement. Ratio is a blank of quantities which can be written in blank, blank, or blank form. Here is the complete statement. Ratio is a comparison of two quantities which can be written in colon, word, or fraction form. Congratulations to all! I hope that you enjoyed and learned today. Again, I am Teacher Cheryl, your partner in learning and in your journey in math class, saying thank you. See you next time. Goodbye!